Hey guys, welcome to Boxing Squared for boxing news and views from around the internet. Quick post-fight review for the Bryant Jennings and Dillian White fights on the Terence Crawford, Julius Ndongo undercard. No surprises here, both contenders easily dispatched their journeyman opposition in short order. So let's start with White. He was facing Malcolm Tan, who'd only fought a couple of times in the past decade. Well, this one didn't last long. Called off in the third round after Tan had been knocked down for a fourth and final time. So White, he did what he had to do. He looked pretty reasonable in doing it too. I was surprised that he came in at 260 for this fight. He certainly didn't look 260. He looked in great shape. So obviously he's been putting in that work and packing on muscle in the gym. He certainly did look fitter. He's got a good left and we saw that again in action tonight. It's just a shame really that they couldn't get a better opposition for White. Especially given Eddie Hearn some months ago had stated that he wanted White to make a splash in his American debut. I'd characterise it as more of a ripple in the end against what was a pedestrian level opponent. So I'm not sure anyone who didn't know his name before that will know it now. Especially given most broadcasts didn't have that part of the uncut on their broadcasts. But hey, it was what it was, a stay busy fight, good for White to be back in the ring and blow away the cobwebs after what was nine months on the shelf following the close fought Derek Chisora win. We know Eddie Hearn is trying to buy White's way to a title, whether that pays off or not, well we will just have to watch the space I guess, but hopefully he can fight someone a little better than Malcolm Tan level opposition in his next outing. Okay, so the other notable heavyweight on the undercard was the returning Bryant Jennings. So he easily dispatched Daniel Martz, knocking him down multiple times before it was waved off in the second. So Jennings looked pretty good. Martz, however, he looked like trash. Really, it was a terrible performance. So me calling him a journeyman, I mean, that's probably been kind to him. He looked awful. But I guess for Jennings, he'd been away from the ring for almost the best part of two years. So this was a pretty gentle reintroduction to, um, you know, reignite his pro career. We know his promoter, Bob Arum, wants to match him with Joseph Parker in 2018. Just how exactly that happens, I don't know. But he'll need to step up his opposition and get ranked first. So we'll have to see where he goes with all this. So if you caught the fights, which, you know, I've got to say was no easy feat for the most part, what'd you make of them? Let me know, drop a comment, I'm out.